Hey, this is Masto from Cold Rain, and you're watching Tattoo.com. Hey, everybody, it's Miss Chibi Smell, live from Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine and Tattoo.com, and I am live at Warp Tour with the one and only Masto from Cold Rain. I'm glad you said the name because I would <laughs> not the band name, your name, because I so would have I would have messed that up. Now I gotta ask you, you were doing Warp Tour. Um, what what is it like for you guys? I mean, do you guys have anything where you're from, like Warp Tour? Um, there's a lot of festivals, but ne none, of, none of them are tours like Warp Tour, and because we're, we're such a small country, like even if it we were to do Warp Tour, it'd only be like three days. So for us on the road, two and a half months doing this is crazy. It's crazy. So what is your best experience of Warp Tour been? Um, I think it's being able to, I mean, play so many places, meet so many people, um, being able to check out all the bands on the lineup after all this time. It's it's been great. Um. We, we actually, we, a lot of people told us how the terrible parts about Warp Tour and how much awesome it was. And we, we felt like it's really awesome and we re really already want to come back. So it's been cool, definitely. You know, and I just, I made it stupid because I said, where you're from? So you want to tell everybody where you guys are from? Nagoya, Japan. Ooh. So I got to ask, are you a um, baby metal fan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan, but... Um, I, I don't listen to them um, enough to say that I'm a fan, but I love what they do. It's awesome. Yes. Well, you're pretty young yourself, so mm -hmm. if you don't mind, can I ask how old you are? I look. Everyone says I look 22 or 23, but I'm actually 29. Are you serious? Okay. No, I'm jealous because I'm like I got like 10 years on you, but still, <laughs> I was gonna say, are you like 16 or 17? See, it doesn't. Matter. I mean, it must be the Japanese blood, but. Well, I do okay for my age, I guess. Well, okay, so if I bleed you out afterwards and stick your blood in me, maybe it will take me <laughs> off 20 years. <laughs> I'm just saying. But now that we've grossed everybody else and freaked them out, can you tell me a little bit about your music for people that have not heard of you or have not seen you? Um, we're, we're a mixture of um, heavy elements, um, big choruses. So we're, we're all about the riffs, um, people jumping, um, having a good time, singing along. But we're all about the energy as a band. We, have, we bring all the energy to stage. Um, we feed off of the crowd's energy, and it, at the end of the day, we want people sweaty and feeling good going home. So that's what we're all about. So you're a fan of the mosh pit. Do they have mosh pits over there? Definitely. There's Are they definitely. better or worse? Like, what's the difference? Um, when they go crazy, they go crazy. I, I, once, I once told them that we were going to count how many people crowd surfed, and in one song, I had, we had 130 crowd surfers. Holy fuck, that's like a gigantic record. That That's huge. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So so festivals are a little bit different just space-wise. You couldn't do Warp Tour. Mm -hmm. But energy-wise, you guys probably kick our ass, it sounds like, because 130 plus people. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there, there is a lot of people there. I mean, so, and a lot of the kids are just starting to get into um, rock music. So it's like... It's it's like this new generation of music to a lot of Japanese kids. Like heavy music is is like brand new. So it's really cool watching it evolve every year. Definitely. That said, who are you a fan of that got you into this music and got you playing? The first band was when I was um, 13. I listened to Limp Bizkit, and that's when I got into it. And then it was like Corn, Metallic, like everyone came along and. Yeah, after a while, I, I, I fell in love with bands like Incubus and a lot of um, alternate like bands that did the singing and the screaming. And um, yeah, but as a band, we're a big new metal. We've, we're big new metal fans, but we still love like Japanese pop music and all that. That we're into good songs. Like every song we write, we write like it's a single. And yeah, I mean, we're we're a little bit of everything. I think. Now, you guys got an album out, correct? Do you want to um, pimp out your album now? Because we started talking about music and your music. Um, it's called Vina. We've, we've had it out for almost a year now. Um, it's It has a lot of types of songs. I mean, hopefully a anyone can find a song that they love on it. Um, we have one song that has a feature with Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach in it. And definitely everyone's gonna love that. that that's the part where i go ooh, because jacoby is like my jesus christ of music so cool he's and awesome guy. Yeah. And, and i say that because you were saying how you like the live music in the mosh pits and whether you like papa roach or not and if you don't you're a fucking idiot but whether you like him or not he is the best front man hands down as far as getting the crowd into the set he has the energy he has the singing he has everything yeah so it was a great great to have him on a track definitely 
So how'd you meet up with him? I'm curious. We, we did a tour in, um, in the UK. We actually um, supported their headline tour. And it was it was really cool because when we asked him to do the feature, it was he he was like, "Do you want me on track?" Like it was like it was like more about friends, like not not us getting someone we love to do it. It was it was like it was that collaboration that happened after we actually toured together. So it was really cool. Well, that's just it. I mean, if you didn't know about their music and you're wondering if you should get it, if it's Jacoby approved, <laughs> then you fucking get it. Definitely. So. Now, speaking of approved, we like ink because we work with Tattoo.com. So can you talk to me about your ink? Um, I don't have much. I have three tattoos. Um, My first one is two owls with a key. Owls are my mom's favorite animal. So first tattoo. She she hates tattoos. She hated tattoos. So I was like, okay, I'll get an animal that you like. It's it's, because I'm half Japanese, half American. It means the two, two sides of me are the key. So duality is key. That's... That tattoo. Um, I, we have a song. We had a we had an EP that actually made our band bigger in Japan called "Nothing Lasts Forever," and that's what I kind of made this mean. Like life isn't forever, so you live each day like it's your last. Those are those two. Um, this is the logo for our record Vena. It's like a V E N A kind of broken up into a logo. So I mean, I I only have two. I hope I can get more soon, but I always think way too much about each tattoo so it's has it's taken me this long to get three but well since you're only 15 right i mean we established that earlier right (laughs) not even legal (laughs) so are you more into the color or are you more into black and white i love i love um like traditional style so i'm like into color but i'm i'm trying to i'm hoping that i can get this like faded out so it's like black and white on the top um maybe get some like japanese traditional going on up here but still I don't know it's gonna take me years you hear that tattoo.com he's looking for some more ink and I hear you guys know people that do ink so hook them up because you know open canvas right here right so so much there's so much left (laughs) well thank you so much for your time and thank you for coming over